Hello, welcome to this first exciting edition of Plant Watch. Uh, what we've got in store for you today in the first episode is basically a little run through where we've been, what we're doing, and where we're going. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's uh, give you a bit of the background of Plant Watch. This is my second season uh, growing. So last year I started with some chilies, tomatoes, uh, cucumbers, pak choy. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. Not a notion. And uh, yeah, some peppers as well, some spring onions. Spring onions turned out well. Very little else to it. Uh, that is because I planted my chilies in May. Mental. Anyway. Plant watch. So, plant watch. Hashtag plant watch. Hashtag these, as you can see, are my chilies, peppers, a couple of tomatoes in there. You'll see that this is made from the uh, Carnesburg tree. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the trick. I've made a little tray from. A uh, cardboard from a cardboard case. The scotch bonnet was simply just a scotch bonnet that I bought in Tesco. Um, used it in a chili on carne. And I just took the seeds, dried them, left them in a cupboard uh, until planting season. So, I say we, it's only me, I should reiterate that. Uh, my other half doesn't take much of an interest in the plants. Uh, but we have. Tomato, yeah, you can see that it's got its true leaves coming in there, so they're coming along well. Uh, we've got different types of chili, we've got pepperoncini. Now, they're very leggy. Uh, anyone who's grown chilies before will say, you know, they get leggy if they go if, if they're too close to a window, they, they sprout up, they get leggy, and it's hard to come back from that. But what I've found is with all the others coming through, they're a bit thicker. I think it's just the pepperoncini that's leggy. Uh, there's just a standard chilli. This was... I don't even know what kind that is. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Secret Santa gift. Planted it. It said it was a chilli. I take their word for it. Why would they lie? You need, okay, you will need... Plant pots. Pound shop. Guess how much? Yes. You will need compost, okay? potting mix of some variety, miracle grow, it doesn't really matter, I've got a bag of John Innes compost in a pound shop for a pound. Bargain. Uh, what else do we need? Trays, I like to go for, uh, to start them off, these little biodegradable plant pots, a scotch bonnet, you can see it's quite small. Uh, Another thing, you can buy these kits. This is your propagator. Don't want to knock these over, but basically, you start off your seedlings in the propagator like so. Here's another larger propagator. Oh, I've just knocked over a plant. There'll be good times and bad times. So, the bad. It'll be okay. Pat that back down. Oh, maybe not. I think it's safe to say this little fella is. Fuck. Okay, this is my little watering can. Nice manly pink lid there. Uh, that's actually hers for bacon, you know, flour everywhere. Uh, a lot of the hopes and dreams, right? Uh, through the series of Plant Watch, we're going to take you through from seed to sapling to plant to fruit to chilies, onions, peppers, tomatoes. Gotta to grow the lot. Why not live off the land? If you're not a real man unless you live off the land. Real men live off the land. Or at least 10% off the land. 90% Tesco, Little Aldi. Sainsbury's, whatever, 10% the land. Oh, and the sea as well, but we've, I'm going near the sea. Hey, uh, so, last year, oh, is that a fucking tomato plant? 
Turns out Google's a wonderful tool. You can Google anything. You can Google how to make a bomb. Wouldn't recommend it. Shouldn't say that in this accent. Uh, but one thing I wouldn't do is Google how to make a bomb, ISIS, and the anarchist's cookbook. Because you might get in a bit of bother with the FBI. They'd be uh, quite paranoid after uh, certain things. Anyway, moving on. Cut. Edit that. Can we edit that out? Yeah. Everybody garden. There'll be ups. There'll be downs. There'll be highs. And there'll be lows. Trials and tribulations. Uh, excitement. And devastation. Last year, the devastation was cats knocking over a greenhouse, first of all. The ants. Ants don't like garlic. Hence, the top's going on again. As I say, this won't be the best produced uh, YouTube channel you're ever going to watch, but hey, well, you can follow the life and times of my plants. I take it everybody knows that's a universal sign for hashtag. Clearly. It's, it's, it's like a little baby. If it's your little baby and you're looking at this little baby every day and you're thinking, oh, how much is happening here? To just eat, sleep, shit, repeat, you know, this not a lot to it, another nappy change. Plants are not like that, except it doesn't shit and you don't need to put a nappy on it. All you have to do is sprinkle a bit of water on it, then it grows, you know, and then put it in a bigger pot. You know, it's like taking a baby and out of a cot and into a bed kind of thing, so essentially growing plants a lot like having a child. Pretty much the same thing. Minus the shit. And the nappy changing. Plants don't talk back. There is no trick. It's all about tender love and care. And a bit of patience. An often used proverb is uh, time and patience will take the snail to Jerusalem. Yes. Plants are not like that. They're not snails, you just need patience to nurture them. Come on. Thank you. Hashtag plant watch. Like and share, leave a comment below. Call me a FUD, not really bothered. Uh, until next time.